As the plane descended towards Jinka, the sun was already high in the sky. We had a short flight from Addis and now we were ready for the next leg of our adventure. As we set off, the road led us through a breathtaking landscape, painting a vivid picture of Ethiopia's natural beauty. The landscape gradually transformed as we approached Termi. Rugged hills and rocky outcrops replaced the expansive plains, creating a dramatic backdrop against the vast sky. After covering a distance of 230 kilometers, we finally arrived in Termi, our starting point for exploring the tribes of the Omo Valley. We had booked ourselves into the Emerald Lodge for six days, a peaceful lodge located at the end of Termi. From here, we would be visiting the Hama, Dasanesh, and Karo tribes, with the possibility of witnessing a cattle jump if we were lucky. From the small terrace of our bungalow, we had a direct view of the vast savanna, stretching out before us with its iconic acacia trees and reddish-brown soil. In the distance, scattered huts belonging to the Homa tribe could be seen, adding to the picturesque scene. We took advantage of the afternoon to stroll around the small town, which boasted a few quaint bars, small shops, and a central square that served as the hub for the daily market. The small shops that lined the streets offered a variety of handmade crafts, traditional clothing, and locally sourced products. As we meandered through the streets, we were immediately drawn to the lively atmosphere that permeated the town. The central square also served as a meeting point for the townspeople, who gathered to socialize, exchange news, and celebrate cultural events. Just beyond the lodge's premises, you could catch a glimpse of scattered hammer huts on the horizon. The slowly setting sun beckoned us for a late stroll into the small Hamar village. The huts, made primarily from mud, thatch, and wood, are scattered throughout the village. These huts are often round or rectangular in shape and have low, sloping roofs. The walls are constructed with a combination of mud and sticks, providing insulation and stability. Surrounding the huts, you may find small gardens or plots of land where the Hamar people cultivate crops and keep livestock. Suddenly, our friend Bezabi received a call informing him that there will be a cattle jump ceremony taking place in a Hamar village tomorrow. We are eager to seize this opportunity and not miss out on witnessing the event. <laughs> 